dawn is breaking on a cold morning in Clyatteville, Georgia, but the PCA paper mill has been working all night. Packaging Corporation of America's Clyatteville Mill produces container board, what you and I call cardboard. Folks here probably don't spend much time thinking outside the box because they make the box, at least the stuff the boxes are built of, the same boxes that land on millions of front doors every day. Fresh Georgia pine logs come to the plant on trucks where they're processed into craft paper, which makes the outside of cardboard. Craft, with a K, is the German word for strength and the name of the process for producing wood fibers into wood pulp and then paper. Paper is a super heavy commodity and that's where the railroad comes in. For the PCA at Clyatteville, it's the G&W's Valdosta Railway. The VR yard is just across the road from the mill, so it's a short ride to work. According to Railroad Picture Archives, VR 2207 was built new and bought by the Santa Fe as a GP7. Somewhere along the way, the Salt Lake Southern evidently owned it. Rebuilt to a GP7U, it was bought by the Genesee and Wyoming, parent company of the VR. This job would switch boxcars in the mill yard for two hours. I watched the up and back action for a while, then went back into Valdosta to get some breakfast. When I got back, the crew had swapped from a GP7U to an SW1200R. A 54-year-old locomotive, the 1200 was built in 1964 as an SW1200 and purchased by the St. Louis and Southwestern Railroad. Rebuilt as an SW1200R, the Genesee and Wyoming picked it up, and it too is now working for the VR. I am not sure why they swapped to this engine for the trip into Valdosta. Almost all of the 21 boxcars were loaded, I assume with heavy rolls of craft paper. The loads were making those old cross ties groan as they came across the road. The Valdosta Railway is a really short, short line railroad, only nine miles by my calculations, running from Valdosta to Clyatteville and the paper mill. At one time, the line ran all the way south to the Seaboard Airline, Maine at Madison, Florida. But one of the previous owners cut it back to Clyatteville in the early 1970s. Owned now by the large short line operator Genesee in Wyoming, the VR serves several other customers too, notably Langdale Forest Products, a sizable lumber and chip mill served by both the VR and the Norfolk Southern. I shot up to Old Clyatteville Road to get a shot of the train rolling at speed, which appeared to be about 20 miles per hour. The boxcar train rolls on north, appearing to head to their connection with CSX, but I didn't know for sure. 
The VR connects with both the CSX and the NS at the north end of this yard. This is just the tip of the iceberg of railroading in Valdosta. There's much more to see, and I'm coming back for more. Until then, on the Valdosta Railway, this is Danny Harmon, out.